My name is Sabrina Yasmin Smet. We're currently at Corridor Gallery, and this is the exhibit Dreaming Reality. Dreaming Reality focuses very much on the subconscious and the information it holds, and bringing that information forth. And the artists I've selected for this exhibit access the subconscious by different means, whether it's meditation, psychedelic drugs, dreams, hypnosis. So all throughout different mediums, but all within the same goal. There's five different artists in here from all over the world. An artist from Turkey, an artist from Paris, an artist from Portland, and two from New York. I thought that the subconscious holds a truth that is shared by a lot of us, and I wanted to bring that forth. Sebastian Wall's work, there are three-dimensional collage pieces, and they are psychedelic landscapes that offer limitless depths and that also echo that sort of layer of the mind. John Ransom Phillips, he believes that it's through dreams that we tell a lot of our truths. So he has painted 43 presidents in their dreams. We also have Emmet Murat Karelian, who very much explores Heidegger's concept of design, which emphasizes that existence is defined by the subconscious versus a conscious. So it goes with the idea of being versus thinking. Jay Swafford, who's a photographer, a lot of his photographs are very much touching with surrealism. So there's always signs that we recognize, but always in an unsettling environment. And finally, Fabrice Casaneve from Paris draws blindfolded. So he tries to use all senses to bring the most subconscious image to life. Sebastian Wall, his collage work, his layer work, the weight, the size, everything, it's mind blowing. There's a lot of different layers and just when you think you got it, there's more to see, which is much like your subconscious. Although the works are visually very different, I think that the concepts all really come together really well. I hope that the audience recognizes some of the symbols and some of the recurring characters from one work to the other and maybe relate that to their own life and to their own dreams, to their own subconscious.